All right, all eyes are on today the crucial opposition meet that will play a big role in deciding the next president of India for the opposition will disclose its strategy on the next president of India. However, right before the meeting, the opposition suffered quite a major blow after the JDU said it will support NDA's presidential candidate Ramnath Kovind. Around 17 opposition parties will hammer out a consensus on whether they will lend support to Kovind or field their own candidate. Sources suggest that the Congress is keen on naming Meera Kumar of S.S. Swaminathan or S.S. Swaminathan as its presidential candidate. However, the left wants Gopal Krishna Gandhi's name. So far, Ramnath Kovind has received thumping support from all NDA parties, even some opposition parties. The latest being the JDU. Simplifying the number game, the NDA has 62.44% votes in favour of Kovind, while the UPA stands at 33.58 आपत्ति व्यक्तियों के ऊपर नहीं है व्यक्ति बहुत ही भले हो सकते हैं सवाल यह है कि कौन सी राजनीति या किस तरीके की रुझान अपनाते हैं यह ऐसे हैं जो जिन्होंने बयान देकर कहा बीजेपी के स्पोक्समैन के रूप में कि ईसाई और मुसलमान ये देश के देश के अंदर एलियन है यानी बाहरी लोग हैं ये संविधान है क्या भारत का जो हर नागरिक को बराबर के अधिकार देता है ये गैर संविधानिक बातें जो करते हैं और उसके अंदर जो विश्वास रखते हैं अब इन लोगों के लिए हम चाहते हैं राष्ट्रपति हमारे संविधान के संरक्षक है उस संरक्षक की भूमिका उन्हें निभाना है तो इसलिए लड़ाई राजनीतिक है व्यक्तियों के चरित्र के बारे में नहीं है सभी विधायकों की एक मत से राय थी कि उनके लोकतंत्र की जो स्वस्थ परंपराओं का निर्वाह श्री कोविंद जी ने किया है उसका आदर करते हुए उन्हें समर्थन दिया कोविंद जी का नाम डिस्कशन के लिए आए उस पर अपनी असहमति खुद ही उन्होंने जाहिर की थी इसलिए अब कल की बैठक में जाने का कोई औचित्य नहीं बचा है all right, so by the evening, we should hear the name of the presidential candidate proposed where the opposition is concerned. But like we pointed out earlier, a big blow to the opposition because JDU has decided to support Ramnath Kovind, which is the NDA candidate. Joining me today morning is uh, Nasir Hussain, spokesperson Congress. We also have Fuad Halim, leader CPIM, Said Zafar Shah Islam, a spokesperson the BJP. I want to connect uh, to you, Mr. Hussain, first. You know, let's just look at the plain numbers and we are breaking it down for our viewers repeatedly on the channel. And even if, say, the opposition, where anyway you've suffered a huge blow with uh, the JDU supporting the NDA, even if you come to a consensus name where the opposition is concerned, it still will, at least what seems right now, be only a token fight because the numbers stand with the NDA. Uh, it doesn't matter which combination has uh, what number. What matters today for us is we are going to put up a candidate, we are going to elect a uh, person who will be the custodian, guardian, defender and protector of our constitution, who will be living up to the constitutional principles, who will not only uh, protect the constitution, he will also protect the federal structure. Especially during the times when the constitution is being uh, threatened to be misused, which is being undermined uh, continuously. So in these, in these times, it is even more important that the people uh, who have always stood with the constitution. What is wrong with, you know, sir, my question then is, uh, sir, before I move on to our other guest, my question then is, what is wrong then with what you just pointed out with the candidate proposed by the BJP? Then you, what, what, what do you mean? What is ca wrong with the candidate? The it point is, uh, who, uh, which combination, uh, uh, which political formulation has put up the candidate? What ideology does he pra practice? What are his statements uh, when he was the spokesperson of the BJP? Have you not gone into all those things? No, Mr. So Hussain. It is, Mr. It Hussain. is an ideological fight and okay. we have to fight it ideologically. It is, it is not about the candidates, man. It is not about the candidates. It is an ideological fight and even for this candidate we have seen uh, what he has spoken in the past. And just because somebody puts up a Dalit candidate, 
Mm-hmm. And and we had expected that they'll come up with the Delhi candidate oh, right. because so, in the last three years the kind of atrocities that has been unleashed against the Dalits all over the country, whether it is Saranpur, whether it is Gujarat, right. whether okay. it is Rohit Pamela, whether it is IA, IIT Ambe, uh, Ambedkar, uh, Periyar Ambedkar Association, everywhere across the country. All what right, is, let, me, let, let me bring in Mr. Islam to the debate. Mr. Islam, you want to you want to respond, sir? The Dalit bastions are being burnt down. Just to assume the fast to assume okay. the Okay, let me bring in Mr. Islam to the debate. Yes, Mr. Islam. I think uh, pretty pretty. Yes. I, I, let me let me. I I think uh, there, there are two things which I, I uh, opposition should realize that one, as you rightly pointed out, that uh, given the support we have mustered from other uh, uh, opposition parties, so their number definitely is an our favor. But away from the number, because it was always there from the day when we announced the name of uh, Mr. Govind. But what is more important that uh, opposition leaders, opposition parties are hell bent to put up a, another candidate. I think in today's meeting they will realize that number doesn't work in their favor and the name proposed of a Dalit candidate is important for everyone to realize that uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the Dalit community also has expectation and their expectation was always suppressed by the Congress party. They have used, misused uh, 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 the proximity of Dalit with the Congress in the past and they have always been uh, sufferer at the hands of the Congress and, and the UPA because if you see their, their condition has never improved. All the talks they do about the Dalits and Muslim have never been fruitful because the condition of the Dalit society and Muslim have never but changed during the UPA time, during Congress time. Now, the Bharati Janta Party has, uh, in, uh, no, let me just come Bharati Janta Party in 2000, uh, in, in, in earlier time had proposed a Muslim candidate and was supported by all the opposition parties. Now we have pr- proposed a Dalit candidate. All I right. think they should come around the right. opposition so parties. Somewhere down the line, Mr. Islam, you do it. He is the best candidate, okay. the most suited candidate. He is the best fit. And okay. uh, and, and this, uh, the uh, Dalit community also deserve to be respected. And this is what the uh, NDA uh, uh, has always done it. Okay, they, all right. They, they all right, so somewhere the down the line, and Mr. Islam, Islam and there is admittance of the fact that this is also political strategy and, at play. And, and, and people. All right, so Mr. Islam, somewhere down the line, there's also admittance that this is a political strategy. Not at all, no. it's not a strategy. All right, let me bring in, let me bring in uh, CPM leader, uh, Halim, uh, Fu, uh, Fuad Halim. Mr. Halim, your comments in all of this. Well, it's very clear the logic that the BJP spokesman forwards for us supporting their Dalit candidate can work in a reverse fashion also. If we declare a Dalit candidate this evening, that the Bharatiya Janata Party should come forward and support it also. So I think so. That logic is a puerile logic and one cannot reduce the presidential election to this sort of discussion. Okay. One has to understand that the Bharatiya Janata Party had received a clear indication from all the opposition parties that they should take the initiative, float a name for the President of India because ultimately the President is the protector, is the last protector of the Constitution of India. And uh, despite us meeting initially, we had not, uh, we had uh, t- uh, taken a, a step backwards and not uh, proactively wanted an election to take place. Now the Bharatiya Janata Party, it, it was their responsibility to discuss a, a name among their okay. party along with the NDA partners and then come to the opposition with that name. This did not happen. You know, the Bharatiya Janata Party uh, uh, did not even discuss their presidential candidate with their NDA partners. So okay. this is very clearly an indication that the Bharatiya Janata Party party wants its so, own party nominee in the office of the president of India. It's very right. clear. The NDA partners were told to fall in line after after the BJP announced the name and then the question of the opposition comes. So this is a serious challenge because the Bharatiya Janata Party does not look upon the post of the president of India as something that is above the partisan politics uh, that the Bharatiya Janata Party participates in. Okay. It looks at like the right. post of the President of India as an extension okay. of the Bharati Janata Party's policy. All right. So one thing so is established, gentlemen, that there is a okay, so there will be a understanding of the post of the President of India. Okay. So we are definitely looking at an election where the President is concerned, the highest constitutional authority. We are definitely looking at an ele- election there, even if it's a token fight because the numbers are skewed in the favour of the opposition. When we return on the other side of the break, what we'd like to discuss is, did the opposition somewhere thwart a perfect opposition? opportunity to come together on this. All right, so by the end of the day, we should ideally have uh, the presidential candidate proposed by the opposition. We are joined right now in the studio by our deputy editor, uh, 
Brijesh Pandey, who has more information on that. Brijesh, it's over to you. Well, you know, I mean, the opposition <coughs> parties are meeting today at 4.30, but the fizzle is out of this whole opposition right. facade of whole opposition unity when uh, Nitish Kumar yesterday decided yes. to support Ram Nath uh, and Kovin. And, you know, the fact of the matter remains that the BJP is now almost 100% sure of its victory. The only thing which they now are trying is to somehow may build a consensus and isolate uh, Congress and other par left parties into one side. And, and, and so far they have succeeded. So it, it's, uh, it has to be the BJP uh, victory there. Right. As far as this presidential election is concerned and the opposition unity, much touted opposition unity now lies in tatters. All right. Thank Preeti? you. Thank you, Bajesh, for that quick update. And I want to take it from there, Mr. Hussain, because it does seem where this possible united opposition completely squandered away a perfect opportunity to cohesively come together. You guys couldn't do it. <clears throat> Priti, before answering your question, let me, uh, let me give a rebuttal to the BJP spokesperson. It, uh, he was speaking about uh, Dalits and Dalit politics um, uh, in the country. Let me remind him, it was not as far uh, uh, as far as the Bihar election that uh, Mr. Mohan Bhagwat, uh, who is the head of uh, RSS to whose uh, who's his, his party owes allegiance to, has said that uh, we should do away with uh, reservation. What has happened in UP after Yogi Adityanath came? Can we get back to the debate? To do away with reservation in higher education for the back person. What? No, 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 no. It is, it is a part of the debate. They have absolutely no agenda to discuss. And then what did they? They have been opposing reservation right from day one. And, 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 they do no, not see you as... Pretty as can I speak? Or else should I spot? Mr. Islam, let... Pretty can Mr. Hussain, quickly can speak, I speak but, no. but get can, to the question. Get to your answer for All the question, sir. Quickly, quickly make your ah. point. No, no, I'm getting to the question. The point is, forget about what they have done in the last 60-70 uh, uh, years in this country. Last three years, what is happening to the Dalits across the country? So let them not take a position on Dalits. Let them not take a whole year and have a position on Dalits. The entire country knows. Point. Point number one. Point number two, as far as the opposition unity is concerned, I think most of the UPA constituents are there with us. All the 17 parties are meeting, uh, me me meeting today. Everyone who wants to take an ideological position in this election will definitely be with us. And it's more of an ideological but Mr. Uh, position so the parties Mr. Hussain, will be taking. What happens, the, what happened to the and, grand and, and, and plan of a Mahagad Bandhan in 2019? You, not, you could not even come together, even with the JDU leaving you, together for something as small as presidential election. Where will this opposition come together when it comes down it's to 2019? Ma'am, President, Preeti, pre, pre, see, le, see, let us cross the bridge when it comes, when, 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 when we you come to You had a perfect it. opportunity, Mr. But Hussain, to show that unity this time party, around. Most of the you UPA, squandered it. You, let him, See, at, see, at, see at, we are not squandered anything at, at time, at points in, 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 in politics. There may, be, there may be some stages where one or two constituents might, might like to have their own stance on issues. Okay. But even the JDU has made it very clear it is not about BJP politics, it is not about NDA. They are one off, one off on this situation, they are supporting this candidate. Okay. They themselves have made it clear. But for the other constituency, IIDMK was never with us. Never is there a constituent of the okay. NDR, they were, they were supporting the NDR earlier also. So let us wait for the union. Okay. let us see what Quick happens in the meeting. There. Uh, let us see, Mr. Let Islam, us, is let there us a see conscious, what will be the outcome of the meeting. Mr. Let Islam, is there a conscious that. effort where the BJP is concerned to isolate the Congress on this issue? It is not the BJP's effort. Uh, <clears throat> their own deeds actually making them isolated from even the, in the opposition camp. Look, uh, after 2014 election, every, every other opposition party used to see Congress as a principal opposition party. Do they see them as a principal opposition party today? Absolutely not, because they have been reduced in last three years as, a, as a re not even a regional party, because they do not have presence in most, they used to have presence in most of the states, but they have been uh, uprooted in all the other states. So, the, uh, the Congress still have not come to okay. terms, have, they have not realized okay. that they are no more a party All right. which used to be in, 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 uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, before 2014.
Today, party has been completely reduced to a regional party, and All right, a quick they are by Mr. Mr. not Mr. even accepted All right. by the other opposition parties. So, we so they have been exposed. Mr. Halim, I'd like to ask you one question, sir. Who is right to him? That the opposition gone to one place in India. I'm addressing a question to Mr. Halim. Mr. Halim, do you reckon the opposition somewhere down the line got complacent? What if? You know, cohesively, if you all had come together and possibly pitched a presidential name for a candidate before the NDA did it, that would have given you so much more ground than where you are standing on today. Well, there is, there is a convention whereby the president of India has to be, his name has to be initiated by the ruling party. And it, there has to be a, a process of consensus. There is a process okay. of inclusiveness that should have been initiated by the ruling party, which it, they have not done. Now, that's the unfortunate uh, political nadir to which the, this presidential okay. election has been reduced to by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, in reflection of that, one has to understand even your own figures, you say close to 40% of the electoral college votes are with the opposition. So, that's not a, not a small number. That's okay. a significant number of okay. uh, uh, reflecting the opinion of the people of India that these machinations by the Bharatiya Janata Party are unfortunate. All right. okay. And I think so. This is the first uh, president of India who is going to be a so associated with, 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 with the demonetization process and the backdoor opening of the RBI okay. for allowing right, old notes to be exchanged. Um, you know, okay. you know, one has to understand to, to, what, to what lows the Bharati Janta Party can reduce this presidential moment, election please. to. All right, gentlemen, that's please all the time that we have for. for a moment, please. Um, um, Mr. Islam, I'm, I'm afraid. Very quickly, sir. Wait, 10 seconds. Yes. What the before before closing, let me tell you. Let us also not see the CBA raids and the opening up opening up cases and filing up affairs in 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 Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra. Let us not. All right. Okay. No. 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 All right. I'm going to close this debate. That's all the time we have for. Appreciate you joining us, gentlemen. We'll.